Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over layers. If you recall in the previous tutorial uh, I just gave you a uh, brief overview of the layers dialog box and just kind of went over all the buttons on it and and uh, talked about what they're used for and what they did. Okay well we're going to go a little bit further into that today and I'm going to give show you examples of how to use the buttons. Alright, so I've got a uh, rectangle here on my screen. And let's say we want to, it's on it's on layer 1, okay? If you recall, to get to the layer box, you either come up here and click on it, or the hotkey for it is Control L. Alright, so the, the 1 is telling me that uh, layer 1 is the one that's current right now, or the one invisible, the one that I see. Okay, so let's draw some holes on our part here. I'm going to put a one inch diameter hole uh, about in the middle of my part. Okay, then I'm going to put quarter inch diameter holes in the center of the radiuses on the four corners. Okay, so now we've got our holes. Now let's say uh, we we realize that for whatever reason we want we didn't mean to draw our holes on on that layer we wanted them on a layer by themselves. Okay, well this is this is how we fix that. We go cre we create a new layer. We can you can name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to name it holes. Click OK. All right, now to move our our Ge our hole geometry from our rectangle layer to our holes layer all you have to do is highlight the layer that that the geometry is going to go to alright then you just click move geometry now surface cam is going to ask it's asking to select the elements that I want to move you have to make sure that that your multi select is turned on see right now it's off and by default it's usually going to be on single which will only let you select one thing at a time. So we want to turn that on. Then all we do is go through here and select the geometry that we want to move. Okay. Then we come up here and click done. And that's it. So now if we go back and make our uh, rectangle layer invisible. Now anytime you try to make a current layer invisible, SurfCam is going to give you this message telling you that uh, if you if you make your current layer invisible that you're going to be working on an invisible layer and any geometry that you create it, it will be created but you won't see it because it won't be created on the layer uh, that you're working on. We're going to say OK. So we made our rectangle layer invisible. We're going to make our holes layer current. Now if we come up here and click apply that's going to show us the changes we just made. Okay, so as you can see, the holes are now on our holes layer. If we go back to our rectangle layer, make our holes layer invisible, click apply. Now the holes are gone. Okay, so I'm going to make it visible again, click OK. So that's how that apply button works. It's it's pretty useful. Anything that you uh that you make visible or invisible, you can just simply click, click apply and it will update on your screen instead of having to actually go exit all the way out of the uh, layers dialog box. That's a pretty useful feature. That's new with, uh, with this version of SurfCam. Okay, so we are currently on our rectangle layer. Now let's say we want to draw some slots on our part. So let's go ahead and do that. and I'm just gonna sketch them uh, no specific location okay now we can trim them up now, I'm not gonna go over any uh, you know trimming or drawing 2D geometry just yet I'm just doing this just for the purposes of showing you how to how to manipulate your layers because this this is extremely important and uh, this is something that you have to know I feel is you need to know before we start getting into drawing 
Okay, so now we've got uh, if we so once again we we drew our our slots, but we we need to put them on a layer by themselves uh, for for whatever reason. Okay, so we do we're gonna we'll walk through this one one more time. All right, create a new layer. We'll call it slots. Reference number three is fine. Click OK. Now we're going to leave all three of them visible. And to uh, and once again to move the geometry, you highlight the layer that you want it to go to. Click on Move Geometry. Our multi select is on. So now all we do is select the geometry that we want to move and say Done. Okay, so now if we make our slots layer current and make the other two invisible and click apply there's our slots if we make these two visible make our slot invisible and click apply we can see that the slots are gone okay now instead of you know clicking invisible invisible if you want to swap them around all you do is go down here and say swap visible that makes those two invisible and it makes that one visible and the same with select selectable if you click it it'll make them unselectable if you click it again it'll go back to selectable okay and if there's if there's one that's uh, if they're not all the same if there's just one that's selectable then you can swap it just like that and it toggles back and forth alright so now um, let's say that we want to create another layer and put <coughs> excuse me and put all the geometry on that layer so we'll need to make all of them visible we're gonna go to new and we'll call this the entire part Reference number four is fine. Click OK. Okay. Now, it really uh, when it really doesn't make any difference which layer is current at this particular point. Okay. Now, just uh, for the purposes of moving geometry and copying geometry, it doesn't really matter which layer is current. What's going to matter is if they're all visible or not. Okay, so just like with with moving geometry, if we want to copy all this geometry into one layer, we highlight that layer, and then we click Copy Geometry. Okay, now there's since we want to choose all of this, there's two different ways to do that. You can come up here and click within, draw a box around it, or you can just click Visible and it will select everything on the screen now whenever you use visible you have to make sure that your entire part is visible if you have it zoomed in and there's an area up here to the screen where a little bit of the parts cut off then that then it's not visible on your screen and it won't select that that little part so whenever you use visible make sure that uh, you're not zoomed in too far and that you can see the entire part okay so now all we do is click done and go back and check and see if it did what we wanted so if we make our entire part layer current make all these invisible click apply and there it is okay so that is how you move geometry uh, through various layers and how you copy geometry to various layers okay now if we want to you can also let's let's create some new layers here I'm just gonna call them uh, temp we'll say temp 1 and temp 2 okay now to delete a layer all you do is just highlight it and click delete the surf cam is going to ask you uh, it's telling you that when you delete a layer it deletes all that the all that geometry that's on that layer it's just letting you know that if you still want to delete it 
which I do, and click OK. Now, another thing you can do with this, if there's uh, more than one layer that you know you don't want, you can highlight more than one at a time. You can either highlight one, go down to the last one, hold shift, and it'll highlight them all, or you can highlight a particular ones by holding control and go through going through them like that okay so we're gonna delete these two Hi highlight them both click delete okay and there they go alright so let's say we want I'm gonna show you how how you can use uh, the selectable and unselectable feature here we're going to make our all of our layers visible uh, except for the entire part layer I'm going to click apply alright now let's say that I want to uh, I want to change the the radiuses on the four corners or I want to delete the radiuses on the four corners uh, but I don't want to accidentally delete the holes okay well all you gotta do is go to the holes layer make it unselectable click OK so now if, if I come in here and I can delete the radiuses on my corners you know, but if I accidentally uh, click the hole see it's gonna say uh, not found because you have made it unselectable so I can delete anything else on the screen except for the holes alright so that's how you can use that feature that comes in handy a lot of times if you have uh, if you're working with features that are real close together maybe they're really really small um, you know if you have them on separate layers instead of having to zoom way way up on your part and try to be extremely careful by, by clicking you know lines that are real 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 close to each other if you got them on different layers all you gotta do is just make it unselectable and then you won't have to worry about that alright so that is about all there is for masking okay we've we've gone over uh, the what the apply button does uh, current means the layer that you are currently drawing on I've showed you how to create a new layer uh, I've showed you how to delete layers we've moved and copied geometry um, showed you what these buttons do toggle the visible and selectable um, rename is self-explanatory um, if you want to rename a layer just make sure you highlight it first and then click rename and that then there's the help but that's that's what I'm here for this help button doesn't help that much okay and that is layers uh, for the next tutorial I'm going to be doing a, a brief overview of masking kind of kind of like I did in the previous tutorial for layers I'm just going to kind of show go over the uh, the masking dialog box and and talk about the buttons and whatnot just give you a brief introduction and then the following tutorial after that is when I'll get uh, I'll get in depth with masking and and show you how to use it okay so that's layers uh, practice it and I will talk to you soon